Hi friends, this is Mangala Pratap and Murli Uren talking from India. Today I'm going to talk to you about summarize the written text in Pearson Test of English Academic. Most of us who appear for Pearson Test of English Academic ought to keep in mind, this is one of the easiest tasks that you can ever do because you are expected to read the text, understand the text, get to know the key points of the text. And what you're expected to uh, actualize is to make sure that you write the entire thesis in one sentence, right? Whatever you've read, if you have captured the essence, you might write it in one sentence. Uh, within 10 minutes, that's very important to read, understand, think, analyze, and get to know the thesis statement and ensure that you write it in one sentence. This could be done on a day-to-day -day basis. How do I train my students on this particular aspect of summarize the written text? I do this by giving them a series of paragraphs. And I try to write for them first and tell them how to analyze the written text. And I do underline the key words and give them the chance of, you know, understanding the thesis of the sentence. And I do caution them not to repeat any sentences or phrases uh, inbuilt in the text. So don't do that. Never imitate or copy what is given there. Try to come up with on your own. Think, analyze, understand, and be you know, genuine. Create your own uh, sentence. And it's very important for you to capture the uh, oh, originary essence of the text, right? So you have to capture the originary essence of the text in one sentence. So, and it shouldn't be, uh, you know, uh, exceed, it shouldn't be exceeding, say, 75 words, right? Don't write, uh, uh, you know, uh, four or five complex structures together. There's some students who attempt to write a few compound sentences and complex sentences, and without really, uh, getting to know what is actually tested. What is tested here is not the number of words. Please remember, it's it's it's, it's uh, not primary focus for uh, for for those people to analyze what have you understood. And this is not something which is usually tested in many of the tests, right? So here, the Pearson test of English academic is uh, very much concerned with only one aspect whether you have understood the core of the thesis. So if you have understood the core thesis, then you're expected to write it without any grammatical errors or spelling errors. Yes, friends, you shouldn't make any grammatical errors and you should not really make any spelling errors or capitalization errors, punctuation errors. And ensure you get the exact information right verify whatever you have written at the end and that's it so that's going to be so easy and do we use this in any other context yes i do use it even in my proficiency development programs i do train my students to read newspapers analyze understand and provide the core thesis in one sentence maybe i'll, I'll give them a paragraph ask them to read understand and summarize it in one sentence which is a bit difficult for them Sometimes I ask them to summarize uh, using two sentences. But remember, in the Pearson test of English academic, you have to do it with one sentence. All right? OK? In case you have difficulties, you're free to come to us. We are there to train you. We'll help you to overcome the difficulties. We also help you to sequence your ideas. We would train you to understand the core thesis. So that is going to be, the you know, the significant area of our training. And those of you who have found it extremely difficult to answer it, please work on your vocabulary. Unless you have a wide range of vocabulary and you understand the register of the language, if you couldn't possibly think about the connotation of those uh, you know, uh, sentences made there, then it's gonna be very difficult. So contextual uh, you know, analysis and then the core theme, and what does this particular perspective of the author state, et cetera? You never include any information which is unrelated. Please be cautious. Don't write in general. Don't write the, the opinions that you have. Uh, never 
ever borrow any other idea other than what is given in the text. So that's very important for you. I hope I've done the best for you. Wish you all success. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Enjoy your day.